Okay, so we'll continue the second video. So Vishnu has applied uh, for transfer and he received it. Now his uh, H1B is expiring, right? It, it got expired. It, it was nearing three years, three years time yes. period, right? And he had to apply for a renewal. So before, uh, okay, so we'll start from there. So where did you apply renewal? In US or you came here and applied? Uh, US recently I started the renewal process DAG itself, but uh, I, I, I done my renewal in India only. Oh, so you came here and then applied the renewal? Yes. Oh, I mean, you can uh, finish your DS 160, all those things. You want to book these slots. Book this, okay. Based on that, you can travel. Okay, okay. So from there itself, you selected Chennai as the location? Yes. And then you started? Yeah, I selected for the draw box for Chennai. Okay. I booked these slots. Because based, if you are traveling, travel to India and you did not get these slots, you want to stay in India that much time. So right, you want right, to book right. your slot book first, the then plan for your uh, flight tickets correct, based correct, on correct. that. So that is a wise decision, right? Yeah. Okay, so now uh, tell your uh, Dropbox experience. So you have booked the slots, you came here and uh, what is that? Yeah, Chennai, that the biometric center only will be going for the Dropbox. I v just yeah, VAC, VAC only, yes. Okay. I went there, uh, they just collected the passport and latest uh, copy of I-79. Okay. They copied, I mean the new employer, work, they collected it, I mean photocopy, no, they will not get the original. Okay. Just photocopy they will collect. Mm -hmm. And uh, the passport size photo, whatever we took here, it's not valid. Uh, they have some dimensions and which was having like so you, until your shoulder width. So you went down? Yeah. And to grade. Yes. I hear this complaint from lots of people when I went for my H1B Whatever we take outside they blindly reject yeah. they ask to go down and they charge a 300 for yes, uh, five or six Yeah, some total, five yeah. or six copies. It has been a complaint uh, from many of them in uh, the, in the YouTube right in the comments they write even I I went through this they are rejecting so many people are ready they knew that uh, anyway what we take it outside it's going to be rejected better we come down and uh, they take okay so interesting that you also went through the same yeah it is not it's, it's almost me. common like yeah <laughs> At least they could have said see this thing what I don't understand is they could have see first for first timer they capture the photo right they don't ask yeah, from us they don't so why don't they do that for uh, even the renewal it's, yeah. it will take just one minute extra right I don't understand the logic complete <laughs> logic of asking us the copy and then rejecting again go asking us to go down maybe That's I think strange. because of Dropbox I think we have this uh, maybe direct uh, again if you are going for an interview I think will not be but a, for you in interview did they no, take they no not right take any photo, yeah. okay so okay in person I think the photo is not mm. needed maybe uh -huh. for Dropbox they asking for the photo right right Okay, so you went uh, to Dropbox, you gave your new documents, I-797. Yes, I gave my new document and passport, they collected it. And you came and back? Yes. And then after few days... Uh, I mean two weeks, I exactly. Like two days, exactly. right? Two weeks, two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. correct. So usually from the VAC are a third, uh, third party agent, so they don't deal with anything. Their work is just to collect their documents. They don't take any decisions on the visa. They collect the documents and they send it to the embassy. So embassy does it and they they are like an intermediate agent. So when I was inquiring him, I used to call him and ask daily. After two weeks he said that... Uh, yeah, yes. they sent me the 221G with what are the documents it's needed. So what did they ask? Uh, they asked me to bring the uh, I-797, I-129 they asked and uh, pay, pay stops they asked. Okay, the current employer uh, yes, pay stops. Pay stops. Yeah. And what but else? I 797 you had already submitted, right? No, that's photocopy. Anyway, you want to carry the original always. I mean, if you're okay. going for an interview, interview okay. you want to carry the original. And uh, I remember they also asked your spouse. Uh, no, they I checked it, but uh, when I went for an interview, they did not ask for any those things. Okay. I think maybe that's a common thing. They just they uh, selected it. Right. right. So what they do is, uh, if at all embassy is not satisfied with the Dropbox, if it's not eligible. Then they, they, they have a form, like they have slips like white, pink or blue. What did you get? I think I got white. White. Yeah, I got white. So they we have a lot of options. I would have explained in the other video showing the white slip. So they will check the check boxes, whatever is needed uh, and they send it back to the VACA. And this process takes two weeks time. So you will lose two weeks of your time before you know that whether you are eligible for uh, Dropbox or not. 
So what happened after that? So I went for an interview in Chennai, and uh, yeah, as whatever document they said, they asked for the pay stubs, and they asked me like, what is the reason for your transfer? Mm -hmm. And uh, and pretty much, pretty much that it's like a W two form, it's a and tax yeah. form. And they uh, asked you that. Yeah, he what he did, you know, backside of the passport. Uh, yeah, passport backside of the passport, they will be giving you a uh, a barcode. Thing, the like barcode one. would be uh, printed and will be sticked there uh, by the VAC. So he just tore the. Yeah, I just thought I, it's not needed, so I removed it. But when I went there, they are asking for the barcode again. In the interview, right? Yeah, I mean in the entrance when you are entering, entrance, the security name. guard will ask you so for the barcode. Guys, don't do that mistake. Don't, <laughs> don't think that it is just for uh, uh, fun or anything. It's just printed. Just keep it uh, safe. Uh, so they, what they did for the barcode then uh, the security guy called someone and they asked me to come inside then uh, from my I, I i took the my ds160 as well along with me and that ds160 as one barcode they stick that barcode to the passport again right so this uh, I, I want to ask one more thing because many of them asked me uh, before going inside you would definitely bring your belongings like mobile phone or bags so just explain uh, how to keep them safe or what are, what is the procedure available yeah, either there. if you have a car have your, uh, i mean valets you can take it inside all but your yeah. smartphone gadgets uh, but even if you bring car right uh, they will not allow you a key right will they allow no, i think key, keys they will be allowing allowing okay yes. i'm not sure i'm okay, not okay, sure okay. maybe uh. because they just won't allow you any any smart watches or gadgets uh, right. those things keys i don't keys, think they will okay, be allowing okay. i'm not sure of that so where did you keep your belongings and how much you had to pay? Uh, I paid like 1000 rupees there to keep my mobile and bag. Uh, the outside there will be auto drivers, they will be <coughs> keeping your bags and uh, whatever. Even, even that is not safe, right? You are not sure whether they will keep it safe. But we don't have options. We don't have Either options. You don't Correct. want you to take just it. Trust. Yes. yes, even it's what's happening in Delhi as well. They are also same thing. Same thing. Okay. okay. Yeah. They're, so, they're, so either uh, you come with uh, like one of your uh, colleagues or friends or parents so that you can hand over they will be waiting outside or don't bring anything or come in a car keep everything inside or you have to just trust and give your belongings to the person who is there outside. It will cost definitely cost you 1000 if it is in Chennai and more importantly the Dropbox uh, centralized is Chennai and Hyderabad. Uh, Delhi and other places were closed uh, so far. Uh, all the business visas are transferred to Delhi. It's just two days. Recently, I had a, I had posted a video on that also. It's only two days wait in De Delhi for uh, B1, B2. Oh. But Chennai, it is 550 days plus. Oh. Because they are centralizing everything, so streamlining so that it can be done fast. All the H1B, they are moving down south and the business visa moving to the north. Oh, okay. Okay, so you went to the interview. So what did they ask? They asked for the uh, ISO 97 and uh, pay slips. They asked, and they asked for the W2 form. What is W2 form? W2 form. It's a tax form. When when you pay, I mean, of course, your salary will be. De I mean, tax will be deducted from your salary. At year end, you will be getting your uh, W2 form online. Okay. So that's like how much tax it's, you it's pay. It's same like your form 16. Yes, of course. Side. Yeah. Okay. Like form 16. Okay, okay, okay. So they nice. they call it as W two. Hmm. So was these mentioned in the checklist? Checklist? Yes, everything was mentioned. I mean, uh, these documents. Uh, uh, w two did not mention it, but that guy asked me. But I added because uh, when your your employee will advise, always have the uh, tax form. Okay. So well. can you just once again summarize what are the documents to be taken? I mean, you want to carry all the documents, but in the list, what they have given me, they given me the I seven nine seven. And uh, pay slips and I one twenty nine. They asked me, but you want to make sure that you carry all the documents, okay. your supporting documents, all everything should be. If you are working for a client, get the client letter. Okay, as well. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, right. That brings us another question. So you didn't. Uh, uh, oh, you took your client yeah, letter, yeah, I right? Yeah, I took my client but letter. But when while coming here, you didn't bring your client letter. So you had to call yeah, your right. client and get then get the letter. So right, guys. <coughs> this is one thing I wanted to tell. So when you are planning here, ensure to bring your client letter also. Even though it is Dropbox, don't assume because 
lots of uh, rejections are happening in dropbox they are asking lots of people to come back to interview <coughs> this is what i noticed a lot during like past 3 months and based on the interaction with many uh, even though it is dropbox it is not 100% sure that you will get a dropbox they are um, making you to come to interview so ensure that you you be like your first timer whatever you will take get that much serious and take all the documents with you so and then uh, interview questions interview the, question, these documents they asked me the documents and they asked me the reason for the transfer mm -hmm. and i just told that my, i was i just told them that i was being my project was ended and i was available open in market so i chose to transfer then you was accepted that okay so and uh, one reason uh, we were thinking why dropbox would not be eligible because uh, of his transfer maybe right yes because other uh, we don't see any other uh, reason why dropbox was not he was not eligible for a dropbox <coughs> because if you are in the visa <coughs> sorry and you are applying for renewal of same visa as per the policy the dropbox is allowed that's what is uh, in the rule so if you are in b1 you apply for a b1 renewal you will get dropbox h1 and h1 renewal you will get dropbox but since because he had a transfer of uh, employer uh, they called him i guess so and then no I, once <coughs> on the interview they accepted and he said that uh, your visa is accepted mm. and he collected the passport and uh, within like 4 days i got my passport with the new stamping oh so you oh, okay okay nice so within 4 days you got your uh, passport was it delivered to your home yeah it was delivered to my home okay so you need not go to vac no, I did not. so oh, that is uh, interesting i didn't know this so far so i thought uh, it would be since we had uh, you would have selected uh, premium yes, delivery premium in the delivery dac in right? the ds160 is <coughs> selected so but at first it's last like uh, once i i paid 850 two times like why because first time uh, we got 221g right okay. it's a courier service so they used to charge you 850 at that time okay but second time when did you where did you pay Again, the delivery who are delivering your passport will ask you. Oh, so you have to pay and then get your yes. passport because wow. we selected that in DS one six. Okay, so what happened to the first time payment? First time payment, of course, you got the passport. Right? You went and collected right? it. No, no. Huh. First time also to with P twenty one Z, it came back to. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. whatever it's there in DS six, whatever it's selected, you are you selected in DS six one six, it will be repeated. Okay, okay, okay. Understood. So first time, if you tell like a premium delivery, even though it is not uh, Dropbox eligible, they will send back to your home. Okay, then it is uh, fair enough. So they use that first eight hundred for uh, delivery. Second also, nice, nice, nice. The only thing which is not, uh, <coughs> uh, I feel like many of them come with the same plan. He had a tight schedule of just uh, less than a month. So two weeks was gone with that. I know the amount of pressure and uh, mm -hmm. stress we will have, right? So if you are <coughs> sorry so if you are planning then gives enough time for all these factors to be considered so finally <coughs> you got your uh, passport with the new stamping yes. right okay nice that is nice to hear so if you have some questions um uh, just do post in the comments and uh, i'll be happy to answer uh, so one question uh, <coughs> out of these h1b what is the most uh, memorable places and journey within the usa you liked of the first time maybe universal studio first time i went to la the universal studio is so nice mm -hmm. and the sea world in san diego it was also so good the mm -hmm. kids usually will be enjoying it okay the dolphins and uh, sea lions the show they did was so excellent oh nice nice do you know swimming no no okay <laughs> nice nice so what is cheap in us <laughs> I know see when he was coming he called me and he asked me what do you want <coughs> usually you know when I when I started my career uh, everyone used to bring chocolate but now every corner of the street we we get the same chocolate but that uh, that um, uh, the mountain chocolate what is that tum uh, yeah i don't remember that name that we don't get here still no that we can get here we, get, we, we get. can get here but even that's not a new style that's a switzerland <coughs> chocolate switzerland okay okay So what did you buy for your family? For my family, of course, what is a few clothes for my kids. Clothes, okay. Well, otherwise, what is cheap there? Cheap, it's nothing like now global market when compared. Whatever there will be 
uh, getting more about same cost. Only thing is laptop you can buy, which is of higher amount. Like uh, if yeah. it's laptop is around like 80k in India, then you can buy in US. It's right, better to right. buy in US. So if laptop and mobiles with cost higher in cost, you can buy there. Did you buy any mobile for you? No, I bought test uh, Samsung S23 when I travel there. I mean, That's all. After yeah. that, you didn't. After that, I did not buy about anything. Planning to buy iPhone? No, I know. I'm no, not, not, not a fan of iPhone. Apple. So. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Nice. Okay, thank you very much. So, do you want to tell anything for the from your experience? Just wanted to share something. No, always yeah. before traveling, if you have a drop box or anything, just make sure that uh, you have all the documents ready because. I did not got the client letter. I mean, I did not expect this since it's Dropbox. I took lightly, but always carry all your documents. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, Vishnu, thank you very much for your time in your busy schedule. I've been trying to catch him for a week now. Every time he tells me I'm here, I'm there. Today I said you have to come here. This is another two days he is leaving. Eleventh is your flight, right? Yes. <coughs> so another uh, today it's eighth, right? Eight. Yeah, three, three more days. So all the best and uh, happy journey. So thank you very much for joining me today and uh, answering all the. Thank you. Sharing your experience. Even I have not heard this much uh, so far. We have we have spoken very limited on this, but today it was uh, nice. But <coughs> thank you, Vishnu, and have a nice journey. Thank you. Bye. Bye.